What's up guys, welcome to Lance London Boxing and today we're going to learn how to box. So, basically you want to take your feet, stand at shoulder width, okay? If you're a righty, bring your left foot forward and then we're going to shift your feet 30 to 45 degrees towards the right. Now we're going to bend your knees at about a 45 degree, not 45 degree, about a 160 degree angle. Bring your chin down and your hands up. Now. In boxing, the direction you want to go to, that foot moves first, okay? So we're going to learn how to walk. So if you go forward, your front foot moves first. Front and the back. When you go backwards, the back foot moves first. Like that. When you go to the left, the left foot moves first. Left, right. When you go to the right, the right foot moves first. Now, you always want to keep a wide gap between your feet. You don't want to have your, your feet smaller than your shoulder width, okay? If your feet are this close, you're gonna fall over, you're gonna lose your balance. You're not gonna be able to punch or uh, dodge a shot. You always want your feet to be wider than your shoulder width, okay? So now that we know how to walk, we're gonna throw the jab. So the jab is basically the lead hand. So basically you bring your lead hand, you bring it out, Make sure that your pinky is facing up and your thumb is facing down. Your chin is always tucked in with your right hand up. And you bring it back. So jab and back. Now fast. Now, we're going to learn how to throw the right hand. So for the right hand, what you want to do is twist your body towards the left, as is. When you throw your straight right, your weight's going to be on your left leg. So what you basically want to do is take your right shoulder, bring it to your left knee, just like that, okay? You're going to elevate your back heel, and you're going to keep a 90 degree angle on your back knee, okay? I'll show it sideways, so this is what it, what it looks like, okay? So shoulder coming forward, elevating the back heel, 90 degree angle on the back leg, sitting on the front, front leg. Bring it back. Now, one thing to remember is all the power comes from the hips. It's not coming from the arm. So you don't want to tense up your arm, okay? Keep your arm nice and loose. Now bring it out, boom. So that's a proper right hand right there. Left hand is up, the chin is tucked. The weight's on the left, left uh, foot. The back heel's elevated. The pinky's facing up and the thumb's facing down. I'm hitting with the first two knuckles, right there. So straight right. Now fast. <laughs> Sideways you. <laughs> okay. Now let's learn. Now let's now let's learn how to throw the left hook. So when you throw the left hook, what you want to do is elevate your front heel and bring your weight to the back foot, like that. You're twisting your hips towards the wall over there. Your chest is going to be facing the wall at the end of your punch. So here, so twist, sitting on the back leg, about 75 to 80% is on your back leg, and you're twisting your front foot as is. The hips are facing there, and the chest is facing uh, the wall. So you're gonna be, your chest is going to be parallel to the wall that's right there. Okay, so in order to get power on the hook, what you want to do is twist your weight on the left, and then twist your weight on the right. That's how you get maximum power for the left hook. Now, your arm wants to be parallel to the ground. You want to keep a 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm, like that. You could punch either vertically or horizontally. Just make sure to be hitting with the first two knuckles, okay? Your chin wants to be, I mean, sorry, your, your shoulder wants to be protecting your chin. So tuck that chin in. Now, I'm going to show you how to throw a left hook. So twist my body to the left and I twist my body to the right. I'm always facing forward. My chest is facing the, the wall that's next to me. My arm is parallel to the ground. I'm hitting with the first two knuckles right here, index and, and, and middle finger. And then I bring it back. So twist, twist. Now fast. Now I'll show you guys the sideways view. So twist, 
twist. Twist to the left, the so weight's on the left, elevating the back heel. Twist to the right, elevating the front heel, weight's on the back leg. So that's the left toe. Now, we're gonna learn how to throw the right uppercut. So for the right uppercut, you don't wanna start from out here. Okay, this is a novice mistake that many people do. What you wanna do, sit down on your back leg, the weight's right here, and twist, just like the right hand. So sit down, twist, elevating the back heel, weight comes forward. Now, I'm going to keep a 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm while throwing the, the right uppercut. You're aiming upwards. So from here, twist. Landing with the first two knuckles, index and middle finger. I stop right in front of my nose. Left hand stays up, chin stays tucked in. Right shoulder stays protecting the chin. The weight comes forward. As is, elevating the back heel. Okay, so you drop your weight, 
just like that, just like when you throw the right uppercut to the head. You keep, you keep the, uh, you put the weight on the left leg, back heel elevated, 90 degree angle on the back knee. Side with you. Okay. Now, for the left side of the body, the left side of the body, I would say, is uh, one of the hardest shots to to master, basically. So basically, the left side of the body is not a hook, and it's not an uppercut. It's something in between. So it's basically you're hitting diagonally towards the ceiling. So you're not going vertically up, and you're not going uh, horizontally sideways. You're putting that at a 45 degree and you're going upwards, diagonally. So what you want to do is, first of all, change levels, since you're going through the body. Twist your hips, bring your right shoulder to your left knee. You always protect yourself, right hand is always up. Elevating the back heel, 90 degree on the back, on the back knee. I'd say about 80% of your weight's on the front, on the front foot, the left foot. Now you're gonna twist your hips, towards the right. So your chest is going to be facing the wall over there, you're going to be parallel to the wall, elevating your back heel, the back, uh, sorry, elevating your front heel, and your back heel goes on the ground. You stay low since you're going to the body. You always stay slouched, and the hands are up. Okay? So what you want to do is this. So sit, and twist. Okay? Now I'll move with the punch. Sit, twist. 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm, going 45 degrees upwards. The chin, uh, sorry, the, 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 sh the left shoulder is protecting the chin, the chin is tucked in, the right hand stays up. The front foot is up, the front heel is elevated, the back, the back heel is on the ground. Okay? So sit, twist. Sit, twist. Sideways you. So I'm going to sit, because I'm, I'm going to the body, right shoulder goes to the left knee, back heel is elevated, 90 degree angle, weight's on the left, left leg. Now I'm going to twist, I'm facing the camera, 90 degree angle between the bicep, between the left bicep and the forearm, hitting with the first two knuckles. I make sure that my wrists are curled inwards. Now 
Now when you do that, you're putting most of your weight on the left, on the left leg, back feels elevated, back knee has a 90 degree angle. Okay, the chin is always tucked in and the hands are always up. And you come back up on your right side. Boxing position, in your boxing position. I'll show you guys a sideways view. So, sit down on your left, back heel elevated, back knees at 90 degree angle, weights on the left leg. Come back up on the on your right side. So when you weave left, just like that. Okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys how to weave right. So when you guys weave right, oh sorry, that was a weave right earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys how to weave left. So when you weave left, you're gonna chop down, chop down your right, uh, you're gonna chop down your right side, come back up on your left. Okay? So chop down right, come back up left, just like that. So I'll show you guys a sideways view. Drop right, up left. So that's your weave left. Now you have to simple duck down. So when you duck down, the punches are going on top of your head. Just like that. Simple duck down. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is when you weave, it's to evade hooks. Okay? So that's how you evade hooks. Now, now I'm going to show you guys how to block. Okay? So, you have block to your left side. You bring your left hand to, to, your, to your left temple, curling your left wrist, and putting your weight on your, left, on your left leg. Just like that. So when you block left, like that. When you block right, same concept to the right side, just like that. Weight goes on the right leg, curling the right hand, and uh, the, the, your hand goes to your, your temple block right, okay? Now when you block the middle, you bring your hands to your forehead, and you see through a little slit right there. You keep your wrist, uh, your, your wrist curled, and it's there on your forehead, like that. What you're gonna do is bring your weight forward, okay? So block forward, block forward, okay? Now I'll show you how to block the body. So the blocking the body is, 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 is the same concept, but you're using your elbows, okay? So when you block left, Bring your left elbow to your left hip bone, just like that. And you sit down on your left leg, just like that. Okay, just like that. When you block the right side of your body, you bring your right elbow to your left hip bone, just like that. And you sit on your right leg. When you block the middle, there are three ways to do it. You can bring your elbows together and block like that, just like that. You could use you can use your elbow to deflect the shots to either the left elbow or the right elbow to deflect the shot coming forward. Okay. Now, last point of defense to learn is the parry. So when you parry, you're gonna take your wrist, you're gonna take your your hand, flick the wrist. Just like that. Parry the shot. Parry the shot. So, parrying a shot is for when uh, straight shots come at you. So, when a straight shot comes, you parry it away. Parry it away. Flick of the wrist. Now, a mistake that lots of beginners do is they parry like this. You don't want to drop your hand or else you get hit. So just like that. Boom. So, let's review everything. Boxing position, jab. Straight. Hook, right uppercut, left uppercut, right hook to the body, straight right to the body, right uppercut to the body, left to the body, slip right, slip left, weave right, weave left, block left, block right, block middle, block left to the body, block right to the body, block middle of the body, Block the middle, block the middle, parry right, parry left. So now you guys know how to box. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it to a friend. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be able to answer them. Um, if you have any video suggestions, let me know. If you have any questions, 
boxing related, I'll be able to answer them and be very happy to. Uh, so that's about it, man. Peace out. See you next time.